members of the public should have an equal chance to vote for public officials and to send their children to good public schools and to contribute their talents to the public good. I am NASA. 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 I am the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. I started uh, here at JPL, NASA, in 1989, uh, January of 1989. So I've been here about 25 years now. I began working for NASA at Johnson Space Center in, gosh, in 1969. I first came to NASA in the summer of 1980 when I was selected in the second group of space shuttle astronauts. I started working at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center in 1964. I started working for NASA here at the John F. Kennedy Space Center in uh, September of 1973. I started working for NASA at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas in 1981. I've had numerous jobs and numerous activities that I've supported in the last uh, 25 years or so. I began as a thermal analyst um, looking at um, going to Mars back in 1990. Working at NASA has kind of always been a dream of mine. Um, I study distant galaxies using the Hubble Space Telescope, and so to be able to go to Goddard and work there at Goddard, um, not only in studying astronomy, but also in working on the James Webb Space Telescope has been really great. When I came to KSC, there were very few uh, African-American employees of, of any sort. Uh, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was uh, rather new on the horizon, of course. As with any new legislation, there was uh, some resistance to it. When I first started, you have to realize that was when the Civil Rights Act was first enacted, and um, things were different during those times. Like in the 60s, things were much different. At that time, minorities, uh, particularly African Americans, were the ones that were included in the uh, Civil Rights Act of 1964. It was later uh, uh, amended to uh, include other minority groups, Asians, uh, Hispanic Americans, and women. There was quite a jump in the number of women um, in the professional areas uh, around 1965. NASA, well, it was part of the women's movement generally, and NASA made a determined effort to bring in more women professionals. When I started working for NASA, I was the only engineer in our division that was female, uh, one of the few blacks. And um, it was really funny because the fellas didn't quite know exactly what to do with the one woman in the group. I started off in electrical engineering, moved into mechanical engineering, unknowing that I was a minority at the time. I guess I didn't discover that until I started working here at Glenn Research Center that being a Native American woman engineer um, was a minority. Discrimination is where a person is uh, ostracized, uh, marginalized, or just is not treated fairly. The common theme is they're treated differently because of reason beyond their control. The focus initially was on African Americans. There were uh, very few African Americans uh, at uh, KSC at the time, and those who were here were concentrated in clerical positions and uh, administrative positions. There were very few engineers. Everything's changed. I mean, American culture has changed, and NASA culture has changed. It's funny when you see those uh, movies about Apollo 13 and you see a bunch of white guys in white shirts smoking cigarettes sitting in the control room. From the time that I first knew about NASA, it has changed exceptionally dramatically because when I first learned about NASA in the days of Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo, it was almost all white. Uh, at least that's the only part of NASA that anybody saw. I believe that there was a time when people of cult color or ethnic diversity was were not 
believed to have the leadership skills, uh, believed to not be intelligent enough or organized enough to, to do those things. There was resistance uh, because there had been uh, no African Americans uh, in the, in the uh, space program and of course uh, it, they weren't greeted openly. Uh, they were uh, perceived as a necessary evil and all to comply with the uh, Civil Rights Act of 1964. So I had a few strokes against me here. I was too young to be a principal investigator. I was too brown to be a principal investigator. And I was way too female to be a principal investigator. Well, I figured the age thing would go away with time. And <laughs> it sort of did. But I'm still a woman, and I'm still a brown woman, black woman. Um, at first, I was sort of a curiosity. People would invite me to parties. Look, we have one, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but there were people who were genuinely sure that I didn't belong there, that I didn't deserve to be there. So I kind of made it my duty to prove that I did deserve to be there by doing good work. You know, there's really three pieces to uh, uh, to change. The first one, of course, is legal. We've got a lot of legal changes. The Civil Rights Act, again, 50 years ago, was, was a key one. The second is diversity, uh, which is having a very diverse workforce that represents uh, uh, the diversity that's in America. And we've changed a lot in, in that uh, sense. I mean, in the 1960s, uh, we were mostly you know, white males. Uh, now we're a ver much more diverse workforce. Uh, however, there's still changes need to be made in the third area, which is inclusion. Uh, we're beginning to be more inclusive, but we have a lot more work to do in that area. Gender equality is, is a, a big issue, um, and uh, equal pay and all the complex issues that, that go along with it, those are difficult issues, but NASA is really good at doing difficult things. When we talk about things like diversity and discrimination and uh, things like that, I think that sometimes we lose sight of the bigger picture. Uh, that we're all in this together. Who are we to judge other people? We should humble ourselves, understand each other, and uh, try to come to a common ground and under, uh, respect our differences and build on our commonality. And that's what really is what make us a, as a whole, as a better community, a better society, and a better nation, of course. When you start to create, you want to have those multiple perspectives to give the concept, to give the idea, to give the program you're working on um, a, a wide variety of, of looks so that it can have its best chance of being uh, successful. Women um, make up half the population and there's no, and they're certainly as intelligent as men, so why shouldn't they be half the working force? But I still believe in NASA. And whenever I have a student in my lab, they leave believing in NASA too. NASA is a wonderful example of civil rights in action. At Goddard Space Flight Center, we have advisory councils for every organization or every group of people that is discriminated against. NASA has done things right. The way NASA has, has approached this has been really good so far, and, and I'm, I'm excited to see the future, to see, to see more women kind of coming up in, into uh, employment at NASA and coming up through the fellowship programs and just, just working their way up. It's not unnoticed that we have, we've now had several center directors who have been women. We, um, we have had African-American center directors. Uh, so so the, the, the diversity in the senior leadership in the agency, I'm here, uh, speaks, I think speaks loads to the way that NASA in many ways has led uh, other organizations. I grew up uh, in Alabama uh, where we had uh, separate but unequal I don't think those students and those civil rights leaders and those activists, if they were to look now fast forward, they never, some of them who didn't get to see the fruits of their labor. Civil rights is for all of us and not just one set of us. So I, I think in order to have a sense of fairness, it's important that uh, we all recognize that regardless of color or creed, religion, and others, we have an obligation to support the Civil Rights Acts of 1964. We are senior research scientists. 
We are mechanical engineers. We are administrators. We are the engineers of NASA. We are human capital experts. We are researchers. We are astronomers. We are center directors. We are scientists. We are mathematicians. We are astronauts. We are. We are. We are. We are NASA. 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 NASA.